this crisis of suggesting that there's going to be computers replacing doctors is a nonsense. The first step towards it will be that the healthcare staff are going to be repurposed and retrained so that the doctors and the nurses, whether specialists or otherwise, are freed up to do those tasks that are high value. Once you start doing that, you can then start introducing automated ways of doing things and include the AI components of that to work out what those things are so that you can then begin having this intermediation between the clinician's time, the patient's needs and using AI to make sure that the right patient's getting the right help at the right time. I think the key hurdle for AI to really drive efficiency within the NHS is firstly to think at a system level. We need to avoid point solutions. The second part is to prove its value. We need to bake evaluation into delivery to make sure we're using technology and funds in the right way. So I'd say there are three main key hurdles to make AI work in the NHS. The first one being data the access to data itself, the interoperability of IT systems and the possibility for IT systems to be able to communicate, the ability to be able to link data. There are also issues around access to data. Then there are also issues around trustworthiness and buy-in. And that has to do both, I think, with patient-facing applications and you know how trustworthy is the application or how much trust does a patient have in the sort of working capabilities of AI. The problem for technologies is that they usually have a significant capital cost up front. You need to invest a million pounds and that will take a year to build and then once you've got that it takes about three years to get to break even. Well you're never going to get funded because you're basically spending money that isn't recouped in the year which means you're taking money out of the delivery of business as usual. That means looking after the patients that need looking after. Often you find companies falling into the tech first approach of thinking well you know I've got this like incredible solution to this problem that is actually maybe not the most pressing issue on the ground or actually maybe an, a non-existing problem so I think really engaging with the workforce engaging with patients and making sure that whatever product or service you're going to be offering is actually responding to a need. Over the next decade, AI will become standard within healthcare. I don't think there's any doubt about that. The question is where it's going to drive the most benefit. If we begin to look away from healthcare delivery and to promoting health, I think AI's got great potential to help us understand population needs, where we should target interventions and how we should do that. Primary prevention is what we should be aiming for, and I think AI is something that can really help us unlock that part of the puzzle.